morning everybody and welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. Hey, I was just about to start a little bit of a fire here in my fire pit. And I'm sitting here and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about the use of charcoal. Now Canadian Prepper, really good guy, he just finished doing one so you can take a look at his channel. He just got all sorts of neat graphics and stuff and that kind of thing. Um, but I had already prepared mine um, earlier so I'm just going to um, let you know some of the uses of, uh, of charcoal. I got it written down, so I'll be looking away every once in a while. Just so you guys have a, an idea, and you can add um, my ideas to his, and then um, you guys can um, go from there. Now, charcoal, um, essently, essently, in essence, um, is the, the remnants, the black remnants after a fire. Um, the less oxygen that the uh, pieces of charcoal have um, been subject to, the better. So if you can seal it up and burn it sort of like char cloth that's good but still you can still use the large uh, chunks of wood uh, that have been left over in the fire so um, a couple of things that can be used for um, is toothpaste um, make it into a paste and brush your teeth uh, you can gargle with it it's got an antiseptic quality to it um, you can bathe with it it, um, it uh, diminishes or eliminates odors so um, when you're in the bush you can uh, bathe with it and just wash um, right away after because it's got a bit of a caustic uh, lye um, property to it so you don't want to leave that on your skin obviously but uh, it's not really bad <laughs> you can clean dishes um, grab some chunks and clean your pots and pans it'll um, absorb the grease and uh, clean them really really well <clears throat> um, it absorbs oils in your hair if you're out for an extended amount of time um, those of you who are back east and have the Appalachian Trail and stuff and uh, everything's getting dirty you can use it to wash and also wash the oil out of your hair for you maybe mostly girls i would think um as a perimeter around your camp so slugs and uh, that kind of thing uh, don't crawl into your tent into your uh, tent or into your camp uh, they won't cross the line they won't go over top of the charcoal which is kind of nice just be careful it's not raining because um you get kind of slushy um, you can add it to wounds it's an antiseptic if you have an open wound there's nothing else you don't have any polyspore or anything like that you can add it to wounds they've been doing that for years and uh, South America, um, and that'll keep your hair, your wound clean and uh, stop it from getting infected. Um, you can put it on the ground, stop from slipping. Uh, around here right now, there's ice all around my bivouac, and um, if it got icy, it's not icy, but if it was getting icy, I could take some of that and use it as a as a, a gripping agent to not slip. <clears throat> uh, you can mix it with pine pitch. Get some pine pitch, melt her down, and put some. Uh, some charcoal and you got yourself a really good glue once it dries um, it's very strong all the Indians used to use it um, the Algonquin Indians those guys uh, back east all used to use that to build their canoes and uh, it stuff's pretty strong pretty strong um, you can use it around your eyes if you have a lot of snow you can reduce the glare by putting it underneath you know like football players do with their the black under the eyes but you can use charcoal um, also it's camouflage if you're looking to be um, not noticed while you're camping you can camouflage your face with um, with the charcoal um, a writing utensil. You can use it as a writing utensil. Get a chunk and you can write, say you're lost and you're heading off somewhere. Um, you can leave a message saying, um, heading this way, put an arrow, um, you know, who you are, that kind of thing. Makes a great writing utensil. Um, humans been using that as a writing utensil for mm, centuries. <clears throat> um, if you're in a stationary area and you're going to be there for a while, um, every time you have the large coals overnight, uh, save them. Uh, you can use it to for cooking. Uh, get a whole bunch of those, get your fire going, put them all back on the fire, and you got yourself uh, basically a barbecue situation. Uh, retains the heat really, really well. Um, you can also, um, other than cooking, put them all in your fire and uh, use it to uh, to forge. <clears throat> to forge, sorry. You break your knife, you need to put a new edge on it. Um, you know, uh, that'll get your your, uh, your knife nice and hot, and you can do some forging. Forging. Um, so yeah, there's a few, a few ideas. Um, as I was sitting here, just about to start a fire here, I'm going to relax today, and my daughter's down and we're gonna have a fire and just do our thing so i thought i'd uh, pass that on to you um i had it all written out a couple days ago uh, i was gonna do this but i was get busy so you guys have a great day take care and uh, thanks for subscribing our subscribers are going through the roof right now which is great and uh, those of you who are new welcome to the channel and um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't uh share and like